Hi friends, happy mask Monday. I'm using this avocado face mask. It was one from the factory subscription box that I won from Nancy Rounds. And it is just something to leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. And in my video today, I just want to use it as a chance to kind of dump all my other quick videos that I have taken along the way that I thought sometime I'd share with you. So I hope you enjoy it. And I have some of these little pimple patches on because I don't know, I saw little things in my, in my skin and I started picking last night, which is just not the right thing to do because there'll be something that really wasn't even there. But once I start picking at it, it becomes something. So I thought to keep my fingers off of it, the little spots that I was picking on, I would put those patches over them and then I can't pick at them. So yeah, that's all. My video, I'm pretty sure that I will probably be speeding up a whole lot of the sections. So I hope my voice doesn't get super annoying in super fast mode, but some things aren't worth, you know, three minutes. It's only worth a minute and 30 seconds. So yeah, hope you understand. Thanks. It was this Violet Boss Wing Flower, and these are the colors on it, which I use, except that then I decided, you know, I never use, like, my liquids, so I left a little spot in the middle that I used the Ciate Shadow Flip um, with, too, and then, you know, I blended it out into the other stuff that I was wearing, but I rather like it. the Mavi Take Me to Los Angeles palette, even though I don't like it. I'm finding it way too shiny. And I think the only two mattes are this brown and this orange. And it seems so neutral that I thought maybe I would do a bright pop of color for the eyeliner. So I picked out this AOA Buttercream Gel Liner in Blueberry. But it had it completely dried out. And I, if I'd ever used it before, it was only one time. So I had to like take a bobby pin and kind of scrape off the whole top layer um, so that I could get into the middle of it. And then I used it with a brush. But Still wanted to do a video showing things off. This is using the neons from my Surge palette in the next few videos. And they're, they're supposed to be ultraviolet, so I kind of try to show you what it looks like and black light too, but it didn't really. <laughs> I hope she pops her head up up there. There she is. Yay! <laughs> Yay! So I tried this Aceology Firming Mask. It said to leave on for a half an hour. It's been about 45 minutes because it wasn't not ready in a half an hour. But it's definitely starting to just come off on its own now, which is fun. And it reminds me so much of the one that I felt like a Tin Man in from Glam Glow. So... Yeah, I just thought I would share this because it's coming off pretty good. That part's stuck in a little hair. Oh, uh. Probably have a little bit there that I might try to rinse out and sort of pull out my hair. And a little bit there in the corner of my nose. And a little over here on my ear. <laughs> and yeah, I got a little over here on my shirt too. But I mean, really. It was pretty good, and yeah, just in general, it feels a lot like that glam glow one. I took this picture at a Mexican restaurant because I thought it was ridiculous. Like, that's not even trying. I wanted to like this product, which is from j &L Naturals. It's called Growth Hair Serum Vanilla and Cedarwood. And you can see I've used it all the way down to there. But I think I've had it for a year now. And my problem is this. If I use one or two drops, by the time I drop it into my hands and rub my hands together, I feel like it's pretty much absorbed into my hands and then I can put it on my ends and feel like nothing at all has happened. <laughs> but if I use even like three to five drops, I just feel like it, I look like a grease ball. Like I'm, like I need to shampoo my hair. So I just don't think it's a good product for somebody with thin, straight, fine 
hair. I think it would probably be great for somebody with a lot of, a lot of hair. So I have been using it kind of almost like a pre-treatment for shampooing. Like if I know I'm going to shampoo my hair in the morning, I'll put it on at night, um, kind of heavier, you know, like maybe 10 to 20 drops throughout my hair. And then the next morning when I shampoo it, I feel like it's probably done something nice. Um, yeah. Okay. Just wanted to say it while I was thinking about it. I did play again with this Nomad palette from Ipsy and did a completely different look than the one I did in the Ipsy unboxing where I used the greens. Um, so today I used the Roaring Twenties color and I did kind of a halo eye, which I rarely do because I always like to start out light and go darker, but I thought I'd change it up and do another kind of Valentine look. So I buffed it out then with the softer pink and then I deepened it in the outer corner with the nightcap. And then I used the Venice color in the center because I think that color is extremely pretty. So I'll bring you into some better lighting. I'm still using this M2U um, shadow primer. It was $3 from Ipsy. On my lips, I'm using this Groovy from Winky Lux, that Disco Kitten Gloss that just turns pink even though it looks blue. It looks green. I don't know why I said blue. It's because I looked down and saw this and said it. Um, I used on my brows the Nightcap Brown, just with a little shadow brush. On my cheeks, I used this Exhibit A, which is um, a cheek and multi-use cream color. It's one, though, that I never end up feeling like looks bare in a half an hour. It looks really bright for the first 10 minutes, but I wanted something pink and quick. And then on my eyelashes, I used this Luna Magic Vavoom Pink. I also don't love this eyelash primer, just because I feel like the pink is always peeking through for me, which maybe means I don't use enough mascara, um, but it's still true. And then the Thrive Lash Liquid Lash Extender Mascara, which I do like this. I like the tiny little brush with these barely there little nubbins that I kind of can come through my lashes pretty easily. So anyway, just a quick look. I'm not using any concealer, highlighter, foundation, or bronzer, contour, just the basics. <laughs> This lady was on Perry Mason, but I really like her hair. I think I'm going to start wearing my hair like that. I just probably need a fake braid because I don't think mine, I could figure out how to do it. And here's the picture for when I went to see Debbie um, from Debutan. I wasn't sure if I shared it before. And then these pictures are from when I went to stay with my mom. Um, this is my sister's dog, Frankie. He loves me. Um, and he hardly likes anybody, but when I lay down, he likes to have his face right on my face, and he asks to be held from me all the time, and I like him. Nobody else seems to like him. And this is Battle Kitty, her cat. Battle Kitty also likes me, but only in the mornings and at nighttime. And then this is my oldest daughter's dog, Toby, who I was trying to get a cute picture of, but he was just too wiggly, so I thought I'd take a video and then see if I could just trim out a cute picture because he just moves too much but he's a sweet boy. Can you tell how much I like her animals? Anyway this is Frankie and Battle Kitty at nighttime when we would go to bed and then Frankie would usually crawl underneath my blankets and legs and then leave just Battle Kitty up at the top and she'd come visit he'd come visit me in the mornings too. So Battle Kitty is kind of also named Battle Kitty because he used to be much more rambunctious when he was young and would bring in all kinds of roof rats and mice and things. Just wanted to let you know, so I've been doing my makeup on my car drive into the doctor's office because I don't usually like to be up this early at 9.30 in the morning, and let alone have a doctor's appointment. Anyway, I just hit pan on my travel blush. Isn't that exciting? Yes. I did my eye makeup with this Bella Pierre Peach Blossom eyeshadow palette because it basically never calls to me, so I've thrown it in my travel bag, but um, I thought it would at least show what I'd done with it. It's perfectly fine for a doctor's appointment. <laughs> Here I am in my gown open to the front and all my results were normal. So that's all good. And then this is my brother and my mom at a Mexican restaurant. But look at the size of those burritos. And then poor Frankie had to go outside and potty in the snow. He hates that. <laughs> Okay, so I took my mom to church, and I recorded that guy singing. He had a pretty voice, but I couldn't sing along with him at all. I have no idea 
I mean, I'm not a good singer, but um, if he was way too low or it's just a wrong key. But I also added these pictures because it is a pretty church. If you, you know, have to go to a church, I think this is a pretty one to look at things in. Doing a little masking on my drive. I wonder what people think when they pass me if they notice. This is the one I'm doing. Feels quite nice. I feel like I'm moisturizing and I'm keeping the sun from giving me bad wrinkles all at the same time. Because it's probably not going through my mask, right? I used the Athena palette today and I'm happy with it. So let's see. The Dido Cosmetics, this one. I don't have you on a stand, so it's gonna be hard for me to say, but I used this orange mostly here and this bottom blue and then this darkest one in the outer corner. And then I went over it all with the glitter on the lid. I love the sound of music. Okay, I bought these toenail stickers from Shein, and they were not good. They were real brittle, but every other pair that I'd gotten for my nails worked really good, so I was surprised. This product is Propolis Light Ampule by COSRX. COSRX, maybe. Um, I've almost finished it, but I want to talk about it before I forget. I think it's a little bit too slimy feeling when I put it on my face, but I absolutely love how it feels when I put it on my chest. So that's what I've basically been doing. I feel like it doesn't mix well with my other skincare products, like it'll start making things pill up. Um, but because I don't put everything on my chest that I put on my face, I think this is really nice when I put it on my chest. And this Volition Snow Mushroom Serum, I really like this. It feels very light and blends in very good and it works, I think, as a good carrier for other things that I don't like so much. Um, like to put a couple drops of in with it like this Earth Harbor Marina, which I don't like this at all on its own. I can really only use like one or two drops mixed in with something else for it. it feels way too oily and pills up on my skin automatically. But I think that it is maybe meant to be, since it's an ampule mixed with something else and just using a tiny bit of. And I really like, also I really like this Milk Lip product. It is a melatonin overnight lip mask, but I use it all through the day. It makes my lips feel nourished and healthy. This was on St. Patrick's Day, and I went to get the mail, and I noticed a green car at the grocery store. I thought that was fun. And the other day, I looked out the window, and my neighbors had goats. You can't really tell they're goats in this, but they are. Thanks for joining me. I took off my mask just now, and, um, yeah, my skin feels the same as it does every other time I take off a sheet mask. And... I'm leaving these stickers on because I know I'm going to just start picking as soon as they're gone. So I'm leaving them because I'm not leaving the house today. And yeah, I hope you liked my little video. There were some goofy things in it, but you know, just sharing, sharing pieces of my life, I guess. Thanks for subscribing. Bye.